Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Jimmy and the Pulsating Mask. My name is the Flatless Bird, this is your Soybeans Gaming Channel and joining with us is the king of the giant robots, Azappa. I'm here to guide you through all the shiny nooks and spooky crannies of this eight-year-old child. It sounds like quite an adventure, so let's go ahead and continue, shall we? What'd you say? Nothing. I said, let's head into that house on the right. You went to the left. You know, Mr. Marvelous's house. I don't understand. We only just went back to the castle and these weird ugly statues were there when we came home. They're so heavy. It's like they're mounted to the floor. There's also this gross slimy residue over everything. Is that slime? So we have to go back to the castle? Oh my god. No. Jimmy, these toys don't belong to you. So what, Mom? Shut up. Dang it, Mom. Man, sure would be cool if you could get those those uh, boxes, right? Maybe you'll have to come back when Mom's not around. The sound sucks. There's never anything to do at all, and my, all my toys are lame. Well, the lame, let me have them. Dang but it. they're not yours, Jimmy. They Where don't did, belong to you. Where did Mr. Marvelous go? Hello, Jimmy! Thanks for being an understanding person with us. You're welcome in my home anytime. Yeah, where did Mr. Marvelous go? I don't know, it's not his house. That yeah, is. Not. It was never his house. Please don't bother me. Can't do this. Nope. No verbs. No but I, verbs. But I need to go to the castle, right? For what? The big statues. Big statues? Yeah, the guy said there were big statues. I don't know what you're talking about. The guy just said there were some big statues in the castle. You mean the marvelous statues that were in the house? Maybe. The two marvelous statues that were in her house that didn't belong there? Oh. Uh, read this. So there's nothing here? Not yet. Alright, so I'm wasting Not my time. I have the correct verbs. I'm wasting my time. Only a little bit. I mean, you ran into Timmy. You got to find out that there are some toy chests that you can't have because Mom said you can't. Stupid mom. I know, if only mom wasn't around. Never lets me have any fun. Alright, let's go. Next location would be... Let's go! Oh, it's two locations. Is there? There's a forest. Wait a second. What are you talking about? That's the other side of the bridge. Yes. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, enough time had passed that they fixed the bridge. I didn't realize these two things were connected. Yep. For Mata Forest. All right, time for Puzzle Dungeon. Choose your season. Uh, winter. I'm a penguin. That was a bad idea. Is it? You can walk on the ice now. Explore! I can't walk on the ice. I thought that would be a dead end. Oh look! It's a snow dad! And the enemy- Well, I'm sure you'll, you'll, you'll figure it out. The enemy has changed based on the seasons. Yep. That's a cool thing. Bag spider cocoon? Killed it before it came out.
perfect. Now I can change back. Yeah, music's kind of weird. Then again, what about this game isn't weird? Jimmy? Is it weird? No, one way or another, there is a way to get to everything. But sometimes you just have to write the fi find the right season and the right direction. I don't think you have any passives yet. I'm missing a lot of things. Nice. You, know, you get to hear me whistle, but it's not being picked up on my mic. I heard you. I know, but the recording won't. Hey, it's look, a buck. It's, it's a snow buck. Okay, let's go for autumn. So autumn doesn't get you up that path. Uh, cry. Okay, not this season, but every enemy is different unless they're the same name. Metro no. So I know that the spider that pops out is not a really dangerous spider, so I could go out to him second from now on. Mm hmm. I also, thought it in the winter, the spider doesn't come out at all. Oh. I thought a much more powerful spider was coming out. For all your options, hey, look. A staircase of mushrooms. Silver sparkles, some moxie points recovered. Also some fall colors. Helps you not stand out for the crowd. 5% chance to evade and much better defense and magic defense. That's pretty dang good. So, here's the thing. It, it says 5% chance to evade. That is the only way that an attack will miss you. Hmm. Is if you have an evade stat at all. Everything will always hit forever. Unless you're being dodgy or you have an evade percent. So now Jimmy has a chance to evade. Don't really care much about the sticky. It just wastes their turn, really. Right? I mean, yeah, they get to hit me, but the more they do sticky, the more they're not attacking me. Uh-huh. Oh, no, you're a little slower. You're still going to crush them. Now, me, when I use slow effects, it's because I'm going to startle them. Right. Or, yeah, because now you know they're going to go after you. Their turn is canceled. You're in autumn. Flowers. Metronome! That's a lot of money. That's big money. Yo, get robbed. Ah. Soil isn't bad. He was already asleep.
Then look at those sixty-four percent. Yeah, well, we're not in XCOM right now, are we? <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> Two rivers. Hey, it's the soundtrack. Uh, so. It's the only one I haven't done yet. Metro, no, sun's out, guns out. Hey, you hit a 14% chance on a one and done. I believe in you. Let's go! I believe in Jim Hendry! Yeah! Jimmy Hendry to the rescue. And he tried to put to sleep mom. Is now 14. Don't, don't, don't. I mean, I, said, I guess it doesn't matter, but there's a fountain right there. I just saw it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because MP recovers anyway. That too. <gasps> it's Rubik. He's painting. He's talking about the about inside of his mouth. By the way, I don't have the, um, the Ruby Cube anymore. That's fine. No, you don't have you don't have to have a, I had to a, use, a nutrition cube. I had to use a Ruby Cube in that really really hard boss fight. That's fine. That the items are meant to be used. There is no item that is not obtainable once again. There is no one of a kind items in the game. I'm just saying I don't have it if I needed it here. Oh, N you're good. You you've done the thing with the dog. If the dog wasn't there, then you didn't do the thing. And you miss out on more. Oh, these guys punch. Yeah, it's it, the sun is out. Their guns are out. They swole. Plus, you've got the, the fountain right there. Check it out. It seems, it seems like the, the creature, creature follows me wherever I go now. It's codependent, but mostly amiable. I decided to name it Cubbins for the ease of reference. Rubik's Cubbins. Or Cubins. Rubik and Cubins. Yep. It likes to eat things it finds in the dirt. I have a deal for you. I'm having a very special summer sale. Only available for a limited time. Oh, is it cheaper? Contains so, a bounce factor 27. Oh, I remember uh, the balls. Yes. Wasn't this a uh, Secret Evermore thing? No. Uh, I think there was a couple in Final Fantasy VI. Super Ball. So, the fifth item in his shop will change based upon the season. I got a couple of worlds because I can imagine there's like special enemies that I may want to kill quickly. And guess who's going to throw that item? Oh, that's a 600%, doesn't it? It should. Oh. But it is 600%. It is 300% damage based upon the person using it. Yeah, but a 300% multiply may be better than what Buck can do. Yep. Right now, his highest multiplier is 150. He hasn't gotten to the ultimate secret buck techniques. Oh, I'm so glad I woke Jimmy up. But yes, he will sell other items if you can find them in another season.
And I think up on that vine on the right. Ah! Oh. You get to those boards. Cave there. Uh huh. I'm just got at the area. Oh, look at this guy. Tree man. Yep. You saw a tree earlier. He was looking kind of no leaves and um, weak. I know. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Guess I didn't need a wake job. Nope. That's fine. to go down now. Nope. Oh, but he's asleep. Hey, he's hibernating. Ah! I like it. This guy looks frozen. Oh, his leaves done fell off. He might be a little sick. season. Oh, you can go forward. Mm -hmm. There you go. Roman candle. Fires, balls of fire, and me eyes. Stuns and magic damage. Cause a stun, and it's based on your magic stuff. Now we go for Jonathan. Is that? Oh yeah, it's fall. Oh, so close. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it's it's spring, so they they hatch. But there's multiple of them. Yep. It just happened to spit out too. It might happen from time to time. I like how the metronome is spelled. Mm-hmm. Really seems like Jonathan. What haven't we done yet? Uh, spring? You haven't seen spring yet. Because he gave you his summer deal. It's flowering. Is it time for money? Time for money. Money, money. Oh yeah. Money, 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 money. Let's go money. get money. Money, money, money. Maybe one day you will be the million dollar man. Or at least the five hundred thousand dollar man. <laughs> or maybe it's only fifty. Whatever it is, there, there uh, is a money-based dungeon. Yeah, yeah. We, we we we've talked about that. Uh, Tech curl. He doesn't want to scum for money. We will let Bird grind out money on his own terms. A very special spring sale. Oh, that's really good. Did you buy any? There's nothing new here. It's stuff that they came with. Or are you selling? Is this a sell menu? Yes. Okay, I guess so. I was like, oh. Uh... I want to get four of those. Ah. Just don't forget that you have them. 
Guess what happens when I have attack items? I forget I have them. Also, that flower is blue, but I think there's a path up that way. This is one of those things in video games where you hoard items to the very end of the game, and then you realize, oh, I have all these items that I could have used the entire game, but I never used them. Hey, I made sure to use my, uh, my five ring and seven ring, even though I failed one of them. Spectacular. Hey! That looks suspicious. How do I... Time. Later. Verbs. Seasons. Yeah, I don't have a puzzle that can hit that right now. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's time. Right now, it's time gated. I think I may save Scum Chest maybe at the end of the game. You Later know? on. When it really it could like add up. Also, these guys are blinding their eyes. See no evil, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I thought there was another path. Uh... Supposed to be a trick. Save before you walk in that cave. That looks like a roundabout. I know what you have to do to, to get over there, but... Let's... Okay. So, there is a way. There is a way to cheese this next fight for the first turn. I but I can't remember how to do it. I know what to do. I just don't know what path to take to make it happen. I have succeeded on every 60% so far. Yeah, hey, you've been you've been getting them dollars. Oh, Jimmy's sick. Yeah, they keep doing that poison cloud thing. Ah. Do you want to do this straight up, or do you want to try to come back here in the winter? I need to show two years ago. Jimmy's father told him what to do in case he ran into a bear. Oh, this is... This is a new form! On a nature trail two years ago, Jimmy's father told him what to do in case he ran into a bear. But, looking at the strange, enormous bear in front of him... Jimmy couldn't remember what he said at all. Hello, Mr. Bear. Mr. Grumble Bear. Grumble Bear. There is no crime. I always check. Now, bully him. Bully! Why does sunshine hurt him? Well, everything will hurt him. Just how much? Not much. Better than nothing. AOE damage! Here we heal. Yeah. You also have new items. I want to use them here. All right.
Unguarded. Lower defense? Whereas unmotivated lowered your attack? Hawk Tour. Give him that biohazard. Buck enters rage mode. Having an AoE heal is really nice. Yep. hit. Yep, he attacked three times and two of them hit Buck. But not just that, that hit was amazing. Up top. Undulate says, yo, hit only me. Yeah, but he doesn't have a lot of HP right now. Poison is war off. There we go. Got him. Now get it. I probably increases my strength. Jimmy imagines himself asleep in bed. He doesn't need any blankets because he's covered in thick brown fur. Also, his bed looks a lot like a cave floor. He's having a pleasant dream. In it. He is splashing in his favorite book. He opens his jaws and a delicious salmon jumps inside. He wiggles in his mouth and then he chomps down. Yum. The next salmon is swimming straight towards him. It leaps out of the water. The trajectory is perfect. Before it makes it into his mouth, Jimmy wakes up. He growls and looks around with blurry eyes. His parents are standing over him. They're wearing funny hiking clothes and poking him. Jimmy's muscles ache. His breath smells terrible. He's cold and tired. His parents' smiling faces really tick him off. Jimmy swipes at them with his claws and they skitter backwards. Their eyes are darting around. They're breathing heavily, their eyes against their backs against the wall. Jimmy's really going nuts now. He's kicking rocks around. He's yelling at the top of his lungs. He's clawing the walls and causing a general ruckus. When Jimmy calms down, he surveys his cave. His parents have long since ran away. He feels tired and a little alone. He curls onto the ground and tries to find his dream. 
Bear power. Activate. Oh. Jimmy can now turn into a grumble bear. As a grumble bear, Jimmy can slam the ground with extreme force. This sends out shockwaves that ping back and let you know the number of unopened toy boxes in the area. Hmm. He looks a bit smaller than a normal grumble bear. But I'm sure he's just as strong. All right. New verb. I assume this gives me strength. Box yep. slam. Attack plus level. Yep. So after new nap, battle is tough. How about a little break? Kill 100% on HP, but self induced sleep. Good at the end of a combat. Oh. Or you can always wake him up with mom. Uh, right. Physical attacks attack plus 500% physical attack. Self inflict stun. Which means you miss your next turn. Mm -hmm. Fierce Growl, Prime War is so loud it injures your opponents. 100% physical damage to all enemies. That's great. Uh, literally slam your head into enemy or hurts. 300% physical damage. Take 10% of your health. Sharp Claws. Wow, just attack 50%. Dang. Uh, destroy the enemy regardless of the consequences. Attack plus 300%, magic defense defense plus 50%, always attack in battle? But what? Berserker. That's insane. Just berserk. Just hit things. How many boxes do you have left to open? I don't know. Zero? How many times does the sound ping? Seven? Yes. So that, that not, not only is that a heavy butt slam, but it is echo location for, for, for treasure. So, there is a way to go into that bear fight in the winter, and you get the first attack for free. Yeah. Because he'd be hibernating. Because he'd be hibernating. Oh, this guy is all sad now. Burr. I thought these guys don't bust open a winner. I think you're wrong about that. Oh, I guess so. Well, more experience. Oh, got now level 15. Filled with confidence. Double imagination points. Sweet. Also, winter coat. We already had the fall colors. The sick wool might be hot and itchy, but gives you extra protection. It does indeed. Okay, so I lose the regen, but I gain a lot more defense. I rather have a lot more defense because the regen isn't that great. Like, I was watching it in battle, it didn't really do that much. It is so piddly. I mean, you're better off just not taking damage. That's annoying. Yeah, MP regen would be insane. I agree with you, Tech Cult. MP regen would be absolutely insane. You know, play with your play with your elements. I think I saw something to the left there. Well, there's some stuff to the left, and there's some stuff on the previous screen if you're in the correct season. 
I have to go back and heal. Valid. Oh, uh, you all, uh, you know that, that black thing in the water that I said was time gated? Uh huh. Time is now. Not really. We, we gotta go back and heal and everything first. Oh, for sure. Pretty sure there was a fountain before the boss fight, wasn't there? Yes. Box full of confidence, we'll go double- Hey, more imagination in a summary dress. More cards make it full of energy. Oh, it's Helga only and I had Elga by default. How about that? More attack? Yeah, I'll take that. And she hits with the red shoe all the time, so why not? Oh, power! I like all the snowmen. And a snow mom. We were in summer, weren't we? Yes, I believe so. The beaver dam was the giveaway. Griff, that dollar! Ah, I got caught this time. Hey! Mama's kids smack, okay? Don't mess Helga's, with mamas. They will mess you up. For being such a good healer, Helga does respectable damage at this point in the game with an old fashioned smack. Oh, I got startled. I couldn't steal. The crime spree is over. Mama's equipped with a big shoe. Alright? Don't mess with mamas while they carry around that shoe. No, 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 no. It's not a shoe, sir. It's a chancla. She throws it just right, it whips around, smacks him, and it comes right back to her hand, just like the chancla should. Mm. They just had to translate it as shoe for a generic American, American audience. Maxwell of confidence again. Bruh. This got only before Jonathan now? No. Swing inside the jack and make you play pokey, but they make you feel bouncing energetic. More defense and more agility. Ooh. Magic Mark could defense use and agility. more agility. Jonathan could use more agility. Let me give it to Jonathan. <laughs> Cause there's times when Jonathan needs to use a, an item. And you need him to do it now. Yeah. You have an item settlement and you need results now. Call Jonathan Bear 877 item now. I think I've gotten everything here, right? I don't know. Grumble Bear will tell you. Well, I mean on the screen. Grumble Bear just tells me on the entire dungeon. Oh yes, true. Now switch it to winter. Or fall. Well, I wanna to try to go back and heal myself first. I, I for, keep forgetting that, but the, the, the answers are winter and fall. Because I definitely need to heal right now.
Jamie is safe from the elements in here. Hmm. Hey, uh, does this also activate buttons? That's a good question, Mega Man. Because I remember there was a button. I couldn't do anything with. Carry me over till I get back to the fountain. Right. Oops, sorry. I sent my mic. Oh. I don't live here with that. Yeah, I did. It's a good old funk. I thought it was a sound effect or something falling in my house, though. So. <laughs> hit really hard. Tree hits really hard too. Jeez, stop picking on the same character, dang it. Winter or fall, either one. They both have different results. I thought three popped out there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very good turn there. I thought it was a crack, so I had to see if to work. Welcome. Hey, so how do you feel about bad dreams? I'm not a fan. Is this a nightmare dungeon? Literally. It is the fear of nightmares. Everything counts as winter. Well, because you are in winter. That's a new enemy, but I don't think they have anything. Okay, I was just about to change. 
But if you want to start another fight as a... Uh, yeah, I'm going to. They show up frequently enough. You don't even get fanfare. Am I missing something? No. I I think it it's on a step counter maybe, and then the door the the, the door to the next area will show up. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it! I hit the wrong oh. button. Yeah, I've done that plenty. Because I was easily gonna kill that guy. There like, it is. Easily gonna kill that guy. Since he starts off sleep. Sleeping demon. Oh. Great time oh, to crit. Start, starts off sleeping. He do be napping. Bear up. Are we in a dark picture game all of a sudden? This just looks a lot like uh, the devil in me. <laughs> Don't know if you know the reference, but I play uh, those all the time on my channel. I played the first one, the one that was on the boat. Man of Madon? Yeah. Hey, man, that game does so much for its time period. That can I just do with Jonathan? Hmm? I think I just passed Jonathan's turn or something. Green now. Big hit coming. Oh, didn't do as much as I hoped. I'm actually gonna see this guy attack now. Maybe. Oh my god, that hurt. Yep. Oh crud. Come on, you gave me no warning about that. Nope. That was lame. Bob, the only one that needs an alarm clock because every because you're the one that has to revive. That was really lame. Yeah. Go from a rampage to uh the counter or treasure chests left in this entire area the forest counts this area and the forest count is one one instance one zone one dungeon Nice. Clutch right there. What the is that? Just decoration, floor tiles. I startled him. Dang it. Fuck, you shouldn't startle him like that when it's at the end of the turn. Double attack. Okay, never mind. Didn't need it. Okay, now 16. Jonathan's 15. Welcome, poor dreamer. You have stumbled into Abyssal's domain. 
dreamer, poor dreamer, like the rest of us, you slipped into a dream within a dream. Soon it will be no more. <laughs> All the dots. Hey, are you like? It's impossible to wake up for this dream. Creepy. There's so many ways to go in this place. I don't know where to go. I have a, I have a AP right now. AP? Uh, analysis paralysis. Oh. You know, is when that you play... the official term? Yeah, well, like when you're playing D&D &D and you have too many choices and you don't know what to do. Yeah. The paralysis of choice. Yeah. That's called AP. No! Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Did I miss anything? No. Wait you picked the correct door, except it was the wrong door, except it was the correct door. I'm back here. You are. I know I can probably kill him in two turns, but there's no sense in taking a risk. Especially I mean, since how hard this guy hits. Insulting is free. Take it. I feel like a reverse Silent Hill 2 right now. Instead of going down That's... into the depths, we're going up into the whatever. Oh. This looks like a crazy fight. Oh no, it's it's the Mario 64 stairway. Also, somehow you hadn't run into the flowers in the forest at all. The flowers may have something, I don't remember. Right. Yeah! Love that double hit. Dang it! That's unfair. Flowers I have nothing. Uh, at least this form was a flower. Hey, it doesn't hurt to check. I mean, no. if anything, the, the goon can always use more experience. Also correct. Luck go up. I wish I could access all my skills without having to go into forms, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I wish I could access all my skills without having to change forms. Ah, that's what Jimmy is for. So, like right here, I can't use the, the flower heel. Right, but if you unlock it and put it on Jimmy. But then I have Jimmy to change to Jimmy. That's what I'm saying, I also, wish I could just have all my skills this, this is the Mario 64 staircase. Like I said, it's the reverse Silent Hill is what it is. Right. Meaning... Uh, Silent it is Hill... futile to go forward. Well, Silent Hill 2, this is one part of the game where you go down these staircases and it's like these staircases never end. You just keep going down and down and down and down and down and down. Uh-huh. That's what this is like, except reverse. Right. Meaning... Is that going into hell? I'm extending into heaven? Not quite. <laughs> Meaning, whatever it is, you haven't triggered the condition to make the staircase go forward. Or, this is like Silent Hill... What was that game? Uh, Silent Hill... Um, Shattered Homecoming? Memories on the PSP? Might have been Shattered Memories. This is one game where you go up, and you can go up for an infinity, and then you realize you actually have to go back. Uh huh. In order to trigger the staircase? Yes, which means go back. So. 
You're in a loop. You haven't triggered the correct forward. There is still a fourth door that you haven't gone through. Where is... To the right. Or right. I could have swore this door was just a part of the other door. Nope. This place is non-Euclidean. It's bigger on the inside than it is on the inside. <laughs> nice. Thought I started. Oh, I must have started it on turn one. That's yep. the one problem with having that startle weapon. Level 16? And bear leveled up. Numbers really go up. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of attack in games. I'm always more of a magic user. But uh -huh. you do do use your basic attack a lot in this game. Isabel never sleeps. If Isabel sleeps, his dreams have the end of the world. Isabel never sleeps. If he sleeps, he dreams of the end of the world. Try you like it's a possible wake up this dream. What the heck do I do? You keep exploring doors. I've already gone in all these doors. Keep exploring doors. Oh, oh look, that, that's different now. This place is you just want, disorienting. Find the door that has the doorway. So now either door one or door four is the next one. This room is different. Isabella is the Emperor of Dreams. His castle sits on the nexus of all dreams. How many centuries have we been trapped? Time melts into fog in this dream here. You know, I'm starting to think that this entire game is nothing but a kid's dream. Tell you, like, it's impossible to wake up. Like, everything going on in this game is nothing but a dream. Just a wild imagination of a kid sleeping. I mean, he does have the power of imagination, after all. Do you want an answer? Of course not! Crazy? Well, we'll talk about theories when we beat the game. Wait a second. Oh, did you... I couldn't leave <clears throat> the room. It was like glitched or something. Oh, it had it it it, it stuck, it hesitated. Mm-hmm. Or it's like some creature has taken control of our dream and we have to not fight yet. and we have to fight against that creature in order to like wake up. Because, I mean, this game is plenty weird. Uh-huh. I might try to take the 37 freeze damage, then have that guy wake up. Yes. Oh, you said not yet. Door one still hasn't given you a doorway. All right, we'll go check that out. I'm strong enough now that I could kill this guy reliably in two turns. One level ago, that was not a, a guarantee. Good startle there. Look at that shoe hit. Oh, he's doing the wrong thing. Okay, that's different. That's what we want. So that should be all the doors now, right? 
should be. Should be able to go in the middle door now. Tree hurts. Nice startle. Good timing on that. Let's see if this never any survey actually ends now. Does it? Head back. Let me go forward just a little. Yeah. Oh, actually, didn't almost kill it there. Saying that's a no. I have plenty of restoratives, so it's not like I'm in danger of running out of stamina here. No. I, I am a little Jonathan. I am a little bit worried about that flower though. Probably should have startled it. Maybe Buck will do it automatically. Or maybe Buck will just kill it. Alright, well that works too. Oh, the time changed. It now says 3.20 as opposed to whatever time it said before. 3.10. Yes. Look, man, clocks are weird. Yep, you've talked to him before. I'm just gonna check around before I go back through that door. All right. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I could have killed him. Very startled. That door always there? Yeah, it was there earlier. I know, but I went through it again. Right. The time is the same. But so the time is different than before, so I don't know. I really forget exactly how this dungeon works. It's just keep going through the doors. <laughs> it's 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 a pest, but it does resolve itself. So what you're saying is we've entered the land of Mordor. All right, that guy did not like my joke. Clearly. I was about to say the game was not appreciated. Game's like, shut up, Flatless Bird. Unacceptable 10 yard penalty. Hell go down. And I was completely wrong about me guaranteeing a kill there. It's still not going. Well, it's at 310. Maybe that means I have to go up 10 times. No. Nice. But the time did change when you came out of there. So what if the time changes again?
Oh, there's now 16. Run it back. Let's time change. Uh oh. Try door two. We went through door three. Try door two. Try the upstairs. Keep waiting for a door to appear up there. Or something different. This, that's a different room. Yeah, it is. This place is super confusing. There's gotta be a proper answer. Locations. Wiki, please. Sweet me melody. Clock has changed. Ooh, we're getting somewhere. Oh, whoa, it, it ticked back. Did you see that? It was ticking back, yeah. We are in a new spot. Okay, no, we it's finally making progress now. Did you have to go through a set number of doors? Uh, Let me guess, seven doors? I don't know. Seven seems like a very valid number. How is now 17? I think it's just entering the right combination. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts, but before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.